Hello everyone, so today I've got a quick video. Sorry I missed yesterday. So during the fight Saturday night, there were three, four gentlemen in front of me and they had doused themselves in so much cologne. I ended up with getting a migraine right after the fight was done and uh, they were covered in it. And it was the same thing and it was like overwhelming. I, I don't even know what to say. I almost thought that's like a, almost like a security issue. <laughs> But I didn't call 911. But anyway, so that's why I didn't do a video yesterday because I had a migraine going off and on. But today I'm doing much better. So anyway, I thought I'd bring you a video, uh, kind of fun. You guys liked it last time of products I'm not going to buy. And then a few new products that I am excited about. So let me start with the products I'm probably not going to buy. And the first one is one I was really interested in, the Mamond Red Energy Serum. However, I scoped out the ingredient list and denatured alcohol is one of the first ingredients pretty high up there. So I was excited about it, but $40 for a lot of denatured alcohol just isn't going to work. So the next product is, I was really excited about this one, the new Smashbox Vitamin C Primer. This one just has a lot of fragrant oils in it. So Smashbox generally does a good job with their primers. And when I saw vitamin C in there, I was excited. But then after checking out the ingredients, I decided, you know what, this just isn't the primer for me. I'll check out their next one that they come up with. So definitely not picking that one up. The Lancome Hydrazen Anti-Stress Moisturizer. Actually, I checked this one out in the store. They had it at the Vegas location. And uh, looks nice. The price isn't ridiculous. But then once I did a small test on my hand, the scent of that again started to bring back those migraine triggers. So definitely not going to buy that one. Price is okay, but too much fragrance. It's got a very strong floral scent. So I can't do that one. Let's see. The next one is from Clarins, and it is a new uh, neck and decollete cream, which at first I was interested in because my neck is always dry and sensitive. But fragrance is pretty high up there on the ingredient list and the other ingredients that it has aren't super exciting to me and the price for that one let me double 90 bucks not gonna buy it I don't want to spend 90 dollars for another migraine <laughs> so I'm gonna pass on that one and let's see one more the Marc Jacobs bronzing coconut glow stick it's like a body bronzer type stick and it actually looks interesting, although I picked one up from, what brand was it? It's that uh, they make all the tanning drops, the pink, green, blue bottles. And I tried one of their bronzing sticks and it just didn't apply evenly and it looked kind of cakey. So decided I'm not going to pick that one up from Marc Jacobs. I'll wait for their next one to come out. But a few products I'm excited about, I just wrote a quick list out are the new Inky List products. They came out with, I think, four or five new products, an old cleansing balm, a peptide moisturizer, a retinol eye cream. And when I get home today from Vegas, they should be waiting for me in a box. So I'm excited to get home to that. Uh, the new uh, Bobbi Brown foundation that just came out, I'm excited to check that one out. Can't wait to pick that one out. Uh, Biosance is coming out with a new sunscreen. I'm absolutely going to be checking that out. I'm always on the search for a good sunscreen. First Aid Beauty came out with a new sunscreen as well, so I ordered that one. So hopefully that will come soon this week as well. And uh, Sephora has another new brand called Prima. They make CBD products, so I'll be checking those out as well. So anyway, those are my quick ups and downs for the week. So I'm interested if you're picking anything up or not picking anything up. So. Leave a comment. I love hearing from you guys. And I will see you back tomorrow with my more regular videos. So thank you guys.